Apple has officially launched Apple Pay Cash, a long-awaited peer-to-peer payment feature in iOS 11.2 that allows users to send and receive money from family and friends through messages. To set up Apple Pay Cash, you'll first need to enable two-factor authentication by navigating to Settings, iCloud, Password and Security, and two-factor authentication. Next, head into the Wallet app. You'll see a new Apple Pay Cash card option at the top. Tap on it and hit Continue to generate your Apple Pay Cash card. Once the digital cash card is created, iOS will ask you to pair a debit card with the new service, and you really should, since transfers from credit cards incur a 3% fee. If you already have cards connected to your iCloud account, they will show up as viable options. You can choose which ones to add, or you can even add a different card manually. After tapping continue, the system will ask you to verify your cards. Once they're added, your Apple Pay cash card will now show up with a zero balance. Now let's add some cash. If you tap on the card, you'll only get some general information, like the last transaction, so you'll have to go into the settings and then wallet in Apple Pay. From here, you can enable and disable Apple Pay Cash. Let's tap into the cash card. Here we can see our latest transactions, and we can also request a statement. Tapping on the info, we see an option to add money. Let's do that now. Just add the amount and hit add. It'll now ask you to authenticate. In this case, we're using Face ID. Once finished, your balance should instantly appear next to the Apple Pay Cash card graphic. Now let's send some cash to a friend. Remember that both devices need to have at least iOS 11.2 installed for person-to-person -person payments to work. Just head into the Messages app, open a conversation with a friend, then tap on the app icon and Apple Pay should show up in the app drawer. Then choose the amount you want to send and tap Pay. You'll get a preview of the payment. Once ready, tap Send and Authenticate. Face ID on the iPhone 10 really makes this process easy. Your friend will receive an Apple Pay cash pop-up in Messages, which they can then tap on to view the transaction. They can even request cash again. Heading back into Wallet, your friend will instantly see the $5 added to their Apple Cash card balance. Now when your friend is the one sending you money, you'll see a little Apple Pay loading notification within Messages. Once the payment goes through, you can tap to view the transaction and tap back to view your Apple Pay Cash settings. You'll have instant access to the cash for Apple Pay purchases, but if you want to transfer those funds to a bank account, tap Transfer to Bank Account and Add Bank Account. iOS will ask you for your routing number and bank account number. You can find both numbers on one of your checks or just give your bank a call to get that info. Once your bank account is added, choose the amount you want to transfer and authenticate. Transfers could take one to three business days, so keep that in mind. You can also set the Apple Cash Card as your default card by heading into the Wallet and Apple Pay settings, tapping on your current default card and selecting the Apple Cash Card. If you ever want to delete your Apple Pay Cash Card, just head into your Apple ID settings and tap on your device at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the Device Info page, there's an option to remove all cards. Finally, if you plan on sending or receiving transfers over $500, Apple Pay might require that you verify your identity. To do so, navigate to your Apple Pay Cash Card and Wallet, tap on the eye icon and select Verify Identity. You might be asked to provide a social security number, address, date of birth, and in some cases, a photo of a valid driver's license, so be sure to have those ready. Try this out for yourself and let us know how well it worked for you. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.